The torso rotation test is a great test to see if you're losing power in your golf swing. If you're one of those players that can't manage to make a nice, big, full shoulder turn, then it may be an inflexibility issue between your upper body and your lower body. Here's how to test for that. Simply get in your normal setup position. Put the club across your chest like so. You can use your phone and draw a line right down your belt loop on either side. Do two lines on your belt loops. Now, you should be able to keep your lower body perfectly still and move your upper body without moving your lower body. You should be able to have a good range of motion. If you find when you do this that you're moving on either side of those two lines, then you fail the test. The pelvic rotation test is a great test to see if your body's causing your slice in the golf swing. If you're one of those players that tends to come over the top, pull the golf ball, or cause a slice in your golf game, then this test is the one you need to do. Basically, all you do is get in your five iron setup position. Make sure your feet are normal width apart and simply put a club across your chest like so. Now, using your phone, draw a line up the right side of your leg and up the left side of your leg. Now, what you want to do is keep your chest perfectly still. You should be able to rotate your lower body, keeping your chest perfectly still inside those two lines. If you're moving on either side of the line, then you have an inflexibility issue between your lower body and upper body. You can't disassociate the two. It causes you to come over the top in your swing. This next test is called the 90-90 test. This is a test to determine your shoulder flexibility. Now, shoulders are very important in the golf swing. If you're one of those players that has difficulty with width in your backswing and you can't seem to extend or get the club away from you, then you could have a flexibility issue with your shoulder. Here's how to test. Basically, I want you to stand up, straight up like so. Put your arm out to your side and simply elevate your arm and see how far back you can go. You should be able to pass 90 degrees. Then get on your normal standing setup position. Put your arm out to your side and do the test again while you maintain your posture. You should be able to get that arm almost to vertical or at least to matching your spine angle. If you can only get to here, then you've probably got a flexibility issue with that shoulder. If that's the case, you need to work on those shoulders. The hip windshield wiper test is a great test to see if you're swaying or sliding and your body's causing it. If you're one of those players that when you get in your normal setup position, you find that you sway away from the golf ball or you slide through the golf ball, then this test is going to help you a lot. In order to do this test, you're going to need a chair that's just high enough to have your feet slightly off the ground. Then what you're going to do is put your fists together and press your knees against your fists. Now you're going to try and open your legs, and you can see here how we open the legs. You should be able to do this to about this extent so that you've got about 35 degrees or more of rotation on either side. If you have difficulty doing this and can only go a little ways or your knees are coming away from your hands, then you have an inability to rotate into your hip.